Uh, but overall, yeah, special teams was good. Uh, normally when we score two in the power play, we don't give anything up. We usually win those games. So um, I didn't capitalize on the chances. I actually liked their five and five quite a bit. Mark, we know there's been a lot of guys on this team who've already won a championship before. In what areas do you kind of notice that that experience during a playoff run like this? Uh, I mean, we're not, I, don't, I think it matters the result, right? Um, you know, we could have lost that game seven one. Uh, it still feels the same for us, right? It's a loss. So um, I think guys are uh, reset. Uh, Get ready for the next one. Just get ready for the task in, in front of you, not behind you. You guys have been so good at resetting during this postseason. I guess what's the key to that? Can't change a ton, right? Um, liked a lot of our game. Uh, five and five. I thought we played pretty well, actually. Just like I said, we had some posts. Goalie made some good saves. Uh, just got to capitalize on a few more chances. Probably Kill's been so strong for you guys in this, you know, the first three games of the series, and, and maybe it, it struggled a little bit in, in the first three rounds. What? Adjustments have you made to make it so successful? Um, I'm not so sure we made a ton of adjustments. We went against the best power play ever um, in one series, and I actually thought it, it got us a little bit of momentum against them. Um, you know, Winnipeg has a great power play. Dallas also another one top of the league. So overall, I think we've been doing some good things, uh, but you know they have good players. So um, I think we're doing a good job of just sticking to it. Blocking shots, getting timely saves, and getting the clears. We're doing a good job of the faceoff circle as well. Mark, I remember against Edmonton, you guys kind of talked about maybe being a little less passive on the penalty kill and be a little. Have you guys stuck with that since? And how, how much do you think you learned, like in that series, that's helped you now? Yeah, there's timing, right? To everything. Um, I mean, there's times to be aggressive, and there's times to not. I think we're um, really gelled a little bit better in that. Um, not getting ourselves out of position when, when, when there's really no reason to. Um, but when there's loose pucks, uh, we've done a pretty good job at finding ways to, to get them with, uh, you know, communication between forwards and D and, and you know, either D rimming it out or making it a good place to get, get the puck cleared. Um, clearing the pucks is probably the most important thing in the belly kill. If you can make them come, come 200 feet, it frustrates the power play. Mark, you guys have played a game in the last one for Mark. Just a couple of skates in the building. Does that matter to you in terms of, like, understanding the building, understanding what to expect going into the second I don't, I'm not so sure. Um, we feel pretty comfortable playing. It's still, a, you know, every ice sheet's the same. Um, obviously, there's a few different bounces in the different sheets, but uh, no, we feel pretty comfortable. Uh, like I said, we, a lot, we liked a lot of what we did. Um, I think we were playing a pretty great game. Um, shots were you know, 24 or whatever, 15, with five minutes left in the game. We kind of uh, you know, give them credit. They they found a way to uh, to get a goal and, and win in overtime. But um, there's a lot of things we like. We just got to continue to stick to it. And, uh, like I said, just keep capitalizing. Behind you. Most guys under 20, and you know, once everyone's under 10. How much did that when he comes in? If he starts, he came in the old security start. How much did he bring that up beforehand? Or is it something you just kind of saw in practice as the season went on? No, as you guys know, Bruce is a very straightforward guy. Calls it how he sees it. He tells everyone what his game plan is. So for us, we all knew it going into training camp. The, what the plan was for the season. What makes the dynamic from your vantage point? What makes the dynamic between Eichel and Marchessault so good? Mm, I think the camaraderie is huge on our team. I think everyone gets along with each other well. We have great, great chemistry off the ice. I think that leads to on the ice. And obviously, they're both tremendous players, and I think that they just complement each other. And I think Barbs is a big portion of that as well. I think he's he's done an unbelievable job since he's got here. Um, you know, he, he knows what it takes at this time of the year to, to win. Um, and he's playing that hockey right now, and, and he's showing it, and he's, you know, a great uh, addition to that line. How important was yesterday's reset day, you know, just to, to handle the, the grind of the playoffs? Um, I, I guess so, yeah. I mean, obviously it sucks in the moment, uh, losing losing any game in, in playoffs, especially in overtime. Um, but you know what, now we got another chance at it, right? You know, we, we knew there was, was going to be an easy route. No series we've had has been easy for us, so we're accustomed to, you know, being in these positions of, you know, a little bit of heartbreak, you would say, um, and then bouncing back and playing a better game. What have you guys seen so far? Uh, you guys are perfect on the penalty kill. What's clicking for you guys? What are you doing to kind of limit those opportunities that you guys had so far? So uh, I think our, our PK has done a tremendous job of, you know, obviously starting with the faceoffs at the start. He's winning that and gets a full clear. Waste a bit of time there. 
Um, I think we're playing with an attack mentality of, you know, when there's a bubble puck or there's a loose puck, we're jumping on it. We're coming out of those battles. Uh, I think we're following our structure to a T right now. Um, you know, the, the, but you did see last game. You know, they did get some looks in the middle of the bumper of Reinhardt. Uh, some close, some close pucks around the net that could have gone in. So, you know, we watch that film. We see what we can clean up, and you know, we take another step in the right direction.